Hey guys, the objective of today's video is to give you an introduction to slope stability. I'll be talking about the various types of slopes, the different ways slopes can fail, causes for slope failure, as well as how slopes can be analysed. So slope stability involves analysing whether a slope of soil is safe or not, and how to possibly enhance the safety of the slope. There are different types of slopes, both natural and man-made. Natural slopes can include valleys, hills, cliffs, and man-made slopes can include cuttings, temporary excavations, and waste heaps. There are several ways in which a slope can fail. Rotational slip occurs when a slip surface occurs along a curved path. The slip surface is typically modelled as being circular for convenience. Translational slip occurs when the failure surface runs almost parallel to the slope surface. This resembles an infinite slope, which I'll talk more about later. Flow failure occurs when the conditions cause the soil to behave as a viscous fluid. This can occur in both dry and wet soils, so the soil here flows down the surface of the slope. Wedge failure occurs in rock slopes. The shattered mass moves as a wedge down the slope. There are several causes for slope failure. Gravity is fairly self-explanatory. Seepage can cause slope failure when long periods of rainfall saturate the soil, with water then entering the cracks and weakening the underlying soil layers. Earthquakes can induce dynamic forces that reduce the shear strength of the soil. Water and wind can erode slopes, causing the geometry to change. And construction activities such as cuttings and fillings can also cause slope failure. Slope failures can depend on the soil type, soil stratification, which refers to the layering of the soil, groundwater, 